All right, hey everyone, it is Monday. Did I say hi to you already today? I have no idea. However, I was in clinic all morning and now I'm heading to the hospital because there is one procedure and then we're gonna round on a few patients and that's it. Unfortunately, I have a really, really severe headache right now. Borderline migraine. I've had it since this morning. Drink more water, had caffeine, I ate. It's still pretty bad, you know. It's fine, we're just gonna push through it. Going into the hospital now. I just want the headache to go away. Okay. I'll talk to you in a bit. Ah, hi guys, oh my God, I am so stressed. Okay, so I am incredibly stressed. I just am. Okay, I'm just so stressed and it's one of those days. It's Monday, you know, there's so much going on. Like there's just a lot going on. I was getting a lot of text messages and phone calls, uh, a lot of emails. I mean, I have three email accounts. All of them were just off the charts today, the entire day. Everyone gets back into the office on a Monday and they have a lot of things to say and product productivity is probably higher for them in the beginning of the week. And so I got so many emails, you guys. It's insane. And then just so many different things that I'm like needed at and I need to do and I'm like, this sign that type things and it's just so many things which is fine i love um doing youtube i love all that stuff but it becomes a lot stunning to do and i want to go to the gym and have balance and have you know time for myself yeah sorry i just had to vent and at the end of the day i will get done what i need to get done list it out figure it out you're gonna be okay have some water have some coffee listen to music for a second call your mom Let's just do like a breathing exercise right now. Let's just take like three deep breaths together. We're gonna go in through our nose, out through our mouth. Ready? This last one, we're gonna hold it at the top, hold the breath in for seven seconds and let it out for seven, so. Are we good? Did it help? Kind of helped, honestly. I'm a little bit lightheaded, not gonna lie. <laughs> I actually wanna see what my uh, heart rate got to today because when I was getting real stressed. Right here was the area where I was getting really stressed. I called my mom and I just had to like talk to her. Interesting because my body responded. It's a thing, you know, if you have stress or if you're upset or something like that, your body physiologically has a response to that. And that's why people, when it's like, oh, it's all in your head, it's really not all in your head. Whether it's anxiety, stress, depression, it's not in your head because your body has a reaction or response to all of these things. And then that just like, you know, does its thing. So interesting little lesson there. I got a little tachycardic when I was really stressed. So I'm gonna get changed out of this and then I'm going to have some water, figure out what I wanna do and get done today and then the order and then go to the gym, study, edit, all that. So let's do that, shall we? Oh, right, hey everyone. I'm back from the gym. I have my protein shake that also has a scoop of collagen in it. Um, Dr. Jenny Lay actually told me to take collagen because my hair is like a mess and I was like, how do you grow your hair so nice? Because her hair is beautiful. I'm having the same thing that I kind of have been making since last week. Um, it's like a protein pasta. This is a chickpea protein pasta. And then I have like two, so a mix of two sausages, but not like the whole sausage, but like, Anyways, a mix of a, like a spinach and feta sausage and like a Italian chicken sausage. And then I have some bell peppers in there and some spicy arabata or I don't even know how to say it, pasta sauce. So I've been an athlete my whole life and I hope that this doesn't trigger anyone, but I just 
have been wanting to exercise more. I want to see like results, I guess, with my body and um, push it harder because I like to do exercise and I like to see like what my body can do. Yeah, I've been trying to exercise like more and figure out like foods to eat to like stay in a calorie deficit so I can like get the results that I want. This is not disordered eating by any means. I'm not saying like I'm trying to bodybuild because it's not what I'm trying to do, but it's the same idea of like trying to shape your body because you know I don't have enough things on my plate and so why not to add another challenge in my life I'm enjoying it I feel really good so I'm gonna eat and oh my god I have to edit a video it's 8 30 oh my gosh mm, I'm so sad I'm editing the video um from two weeks ago the last OBGYN vlog <sighs> miss it. I want to be back on OBGYN. Next month I'll be on OBGYN for a clinic. So I'm very excited about that. But um, oh, I'm so like sad editing these videos, but it feels so good. I get to relive it. So I'm editing and then I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, what's up guys? I have not talked to you today. It is Tuesday. I am home from the clinic. Um, I'm having a salad that, that my mom made me. It's a Chinese chicken salad, I think. I got like a short lunch today just because there were a lot of patients. However, I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I eat and then I have to head back out. So let's like eat really quick. Mmm, okay, bye. We got out while the sun was still up. Very nice. Well, it was setting. Um, but it's nice to like go outside when it's still bright out and not dark. Done for the day. I managed to finish my U World while I was there. So I just have to review it. And then I'm done setting for the day. I'm not like mega stressed like I was yesterday because I managed to get my stuff under control. Hey guys, good morning. It's, gosh, what day is it? It's only Wednesday. I'm heading into the hospital. We are here in the hospital today. Don't really know how long the day will be. Hopefully there's enough time to get setting done <laughs> later and not be too tired. I managed to get my Anki done this morning and I actually did my boards and beyond for today, yesterday. There was a STEMI in the ED. Um, we got to go up there for just a second, but another doctor is gonna do it. We're back down in the cath lab for an angio, and then, but I get to go get us coffee right now, which is exciting. The doc is treating us to a Starbucks. They have a Starbucks here, so, yes! Hi, everyone, it's 5.30. Just got out of the hospital. It was a really long day. Um, I'm in different scrubs now because they have us change for the cath lab and so we got to scrub in on a few procedures today me and my classmates switched off and we rounded on patients in the morning then we did the procedures and then we rounded it in the evening really exciting today I got to do the right and left heart cats um, and I guess I'm gonna insert footage of what the doctor was saying I got it in you the got it in the left main uh, so you got the catheter into that four millimeter ostium of the left main coronary on the first try. I just honestly I like procedures and I like being in like the OR setting and being scrubbed in. So if I can be in that environment, then I'm a happy gal. So that was awesome. I'm gonna go home. I need to study. <laughs> Hi guys, I am still in my scrub top, but I put on shorts. I just did a U World set. Didn't do too great. Love that for me. So I'm just going to. Sh just review this and review all of my stakes and lack of knowledge. Third year is incredibly hard. I mean, second year was really hard mentally, but physically draining third year is because you are in the hospital or clinic or whatever. Like for example, we're working like 
a little over 40 hours a week and then I have to come home and study all night and so it is just exhausting mentally and physically oh I'm just so mad that I just wish I could get stuff right I wish I could know things positive <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back from the gym. I was debating on going. I didn't want to just because I'm tired overall and it's kind of late now. Well, it's nine o'clock, but it's just, I need to eat dinner still. But I'm glad that I went. It, the hardest part is always going and then you always feel really good after. And Y'all, I'm like sad. <laughs> I don't wanna cry, but I'm just sad. <laughs> it's challenging because I personally, I really like spending time by myself. That's that, but then sometimes it gets to you. I'm gonna eat my salmon. <laughs> such a lame dinner it looks so bad so it just looks like a pile of fish it's important to share these downs to normalize having emotions and to normalize the ups and downs of medical school and just being a student in general such a great day today. it's just fun and nice this dock is super fun we went out to lunch today because actually the fourth year that's been with us she's from a different school today was her last day with us so we were all sad on rotations you kind of build a bond with everyone that you're working with since you're while you're there they're just overall good day in the clinic i heard atrial fibrillation it's irregular i saw it on the ekg hearing it is crazy this patient was also really tachycardic so it's just wild in there the heart is just doing its own thing today's actually our friday we didn't know until today when we got here the doc was just saying oh yeah you don't have to come in tomorrow not that i don't like being here i just it, i can study and control my stress and all that stuff very happy i'm gonna go home study go to the gym happy girl compared to last night because that was not fun last night it's been like this I just feel really stressed and I'm having a hard time finding things that, that help me relieve it right now, I guess. The gym helps, but also it doesn't. I'm just recording this to let you know that this happens. Maybe once a week, maybe twice, maybe every day. I'm gonna go. Bye. I'ma give it my best And hopefully I'll make it out of one piece Or maybe two